Um, so today I am going to be doing a little hair tutorial just to show you guys what I did to my hair. Um, I'm a bit over like flat, flat, flat ironed, although sometimes it's just a need for it. Um, yeah, also, um, I do like like a curl with a wand, which I will show you as well because I know a lot of people do struggle with that and want to know how and trust me, very, 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 very easy. Um, but today I'm using this GHD. I don't actually know um, how many inches it is. I do think there is a bigger one and also this is the round one it's not the one that's like almost flat so um once i blow dry my hair i use this kerastase liquid gold basically just from bleaching my hair it's just a tad dry so I rub that in my hands and I don't ever, well, usually um, do the tops, the ends, pretty dry. So I use quite a bit of this just in general. Shame. Because I need a hairdresser. And then what I do is I actually have done like the bottom just because otherwise with this hair it would take too long but I will still show you everything and then thanks to Jen Atkin the way way wave spray I just take it and spray it through so it goes to a lock of note okay so just to show you, I mean, I normally just wear, just do it in a little parting. For some reason lately, my hair just naturally, when it's dry, falls into that. So I normally start on one side. I'll just show you how I have done this bottom section so far. I mean, I don't section exactly how you're meant to. I mean, obviously you need to, to get in there. I basically use this as an iron first, just to get away with all these frizzy pieces. And then just slowly start turning it. And turning. And make sure you get those edges because it just smooths them out. Really nicely. And wrap it around if you want. The only thing with doing curls by wrapping it around like this is the heat is all the way at the bottom. So there's no, not as much heat at the top here as there is at the bottom. So obviously when you let that go, all the curls are going to be at the bottom and then the top is straight. So that's why when I do do a proper curl like that, I prefer to do a one. I mean, even you can use this. Because then the heat is going all the way from the top, you wrap it around to the bottom. But if you just do it like I showed you in that first way, all the heat's at the bottom and that's when you start to get that triangular look. Where the curls are just all the way at the bottom. And yeah, we don't want that, but I just like just smooth it out, just give it some movement, switch ways, whichever way you're going to be turning. Sorry about my squeaky chair. It's also nice to take super big sections, just smooth it all together. There's always these under pieces, always should have burn on my neck. Story of my life. Some reason today I didn't. 
and also just if you get these tiny little pieces here just use the heat and rub it up and down smoothly sometimes it's a bit too short to use the clamp and that's um yeah that straightens it if you want to just add a bit of a curl to it you can later on it's all just all blending to each other i like to do fairly bigger sections when i do this just because of the amount of hair that i have and i get so hot just sitting great look sitting and doing this so here you can see i've done this bit here but then there's a piece that hasn't gone through with these front pieces i like to take it in because then it grips those small little baby heads in the front and pulls them straight and tight so you don't have any little baby fluff but then you also kind of get that nice curl I mean with this it's really not difficult to um, screw it up even if you do like this kind of curl loose wave beach mermaid hair whatever you prefer to call it even if it's messy still looks good the second day hair is good third day hair is even better sometimes like if i feel like i'm wearing out i feel like i want to do my hair um the day before and just let it do its thing This piece here is driving me crazy. So you can always, when your hair is hot, you can still manipulate it to the way you want it. Once it's cold is when it sets. That's why if you're wearing rollers, for instance, you do it when the hair's hot and you have to sit and wait and let it get cool. Once your hair cools down is when it sets. I mean, even there, you can see the pretty way that it does. So, if you do feel like something's not the way you want to do it, well, I mean, yes, obviously, if your hair's done and you want to go back, say, with a flat iron just to straighten out some other pieces, you can. It's not going to not do anything. But basically, the whole thing is when hair is cool is when everything gets set. Yeah, I mean, it's not really difficult. Once you get the hang of it, you will look back. But I will do a video also with a wand and maybe even GHG for two drivers. I can do the one side perfectly on myself with a GHD and then. The other side's just a massive mess. But I'll still show you just so you guys can see, so you can play around. And yeah, this is my favorite though. Just gives it some nice movement, body. Yeah, bounce. Oh, in summer, I dread this. By the time I'm done, it's too much. As you can tell, these roots are not great. I mean, I feel like looking your best and feeling your best is essential. So I should be able to go and get my hair done. Especially considering we've been in lockdown for 75 years. I'm not going to be a blonde when I walk out of here. I'm going to be back to my roots. I like to just do a little curl at the end. So later when it does drop, obviously when I've got a lot of hair, it's long and it's thick. So it does drop, but that's kind of what I want because then it just has that nice little 
stained wave in it and just looks nice and done but undone which is what people want these days they want to pay to look like they haven't had anything done even though five grand later they've had everything done I did this all the way through, just brush out. I always go back in and do pieces that need to get done. Oh, these dreadlocks. Especially on the top layer, I like to get it pretty smooth. Even doing this. It's all those flyaways down and away from where we want them to be. So yeah, basically like the, when I do this, I'm just smoothing it out as if it were a straightening iron. Just to get away that frizz, I say everywhere. And then I go back in and I just turn it and slowly down. Okay. Does anyone else's hair get really naughty? Even after brushing it and blow drying it and oiling and conditioning and everything. You can go over this as many times as you want. I do like my hair pretty smooth. So sometimes I do do it quite a few times and then if I'm growing out or something depending on how, on how wild I'm looking, I will go and just do some touch-ups. But these front pieces are like my favorite to do. Just finishes everything off so nicely. Trying to just get in there to the root. Same thing, we're not doing anything special, it's just twisting. Even if you don't want to use the clamp, hold it down, twist around. Obviously, the longer you hold it like this, the tighter the curl will be. This still gives really pretty. Okay. I like to just take these long pieces away from the face. Otherwise, I know they'll irritate the living daylights out of me. Yeah, so that's my look. So we will just go back. Okay, so this side is done. Brush through, shake it around. I mean, hello. Why can't someone please, 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 please invent a perm that can do this? I mean, meh. Amazing. Okay, so now I am on the last layer on this side. When I do curls on myself, which I don't actually, with a flat iron. I just, for some reason, when it comes to the direction of my hands, obviously because I'm looking in a mirror, it just confuses me so much. Like the one side comes out amazing, and then the other 
this side. Not so amazing. Okay, last piece. So exciting. Um, this actually does take a lot quicker than curling it properly. Although not so much anymore, it used to be quite pedantic about how everything has to be like perfect. But then I actually started to prefer like the messy curls a bit more. So it doesn't actually matter how perfect it is because even bad curls, oh, no, take that back. Even messy, um, like hair still looks good and then we're on to this last front piece baby hairs will be the death of me people well people Kim Kardashian and a few other in influencers get them lasered away so they have like the perfect hairline I did hear someone say also that they got their um hairline tattoo which for me is a bit far okay I'm gonna shake it out and then afterwards I use this Willow Glam Mist it's not really a hairspray but when I tell you that it makes your hair so soft. I use quite a bit. It's literally like, oh. It just makes your hair feel like satin, not satin, I don't know. And it adds a bit of a shine. It doesn't make your hair oily, not that I actually do any of this at the top. What I do also like to do then is just take another little bit of the Kerastase oil, not a lot, rub and just take it and see like these curls are still a bit too much, you can see underneath it's already straight. And then for texture, this is a dry shampoo as well, but I don't find it works very well as a dry shampoo, obviously compared to the one and only Batiste, which can't live without, but this is actually really nice for just like um, texturizing. It's Wella, but Nioxin, I think is how you say it. Instant fullness, dry cleanser, use the lights, but obviously my holy grail is the way texturizing spray. This also is basically, it's like a dry shampoo, texturizing spray, hairspray all in one. Look hair spray, roots, and the same one I in the face not even a lot that I do mostly at the roots not at the bottom and then I mean obviously the messier the better I like it and then also because I've done middle parting if I swing it that way you can have that nice or if we go the other way I got that vibe but yeah I mean I love a middle parting yeah why can't it just be like this all the time okay um done I feel like that was a good one well done team let me know if you have any questions about products, where to get them, tools, if you want to show me the tools you have, if you don't know if they're okay or not. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, yeah. Let me know what else you guys do want to see, what you want to know. And I will 
see you guys soon.